Mitosis versus meiosis, part of that topic, cell division covered for leaving cert biology. You're often asked to define each of these and to compare them. So this is rapid revision where we deal with just that specific part of the topic. Mitosis is a form of nuclear division where one parent nucleus will divide to produce two genetically identical daughter nuclei. Therefore, mitosis maintains chromosomal number. So mitosis produces genetically identical daughter nuclei. Therefore, you could say that it retains genetic code. So let's write some key points on mitosis. Mitosis does not introduce genetic variation. That's very important to consider. The function of mitosis in unicellular organisms is to increase their numbers. So it's a means of asexual reproduction. The function of mitosis in multicellular organisms is growth and renewal. So in plants, for example, plants will get taller and longer because there are meristems. A meristem is plant tissue capable of producing new cells by mitosis. These are found at the root tips and the shoot tips. You also encounter tissue culturing and mitosis is the basis for tissue culturing. So when you think of renewal, think of your stomach lining getting renewed every few weeks. This is by means of mitosis. So mitosis produces all somatic cells. These are body cells, so not sex cells, not gametes. So let's move on to meiosis. Meiosis is a form of nuclear division where one nucleus will divide to form four daughter nuclei and chromosome number is halved. So if the parent nucleus was diploid, well, each of those four daughter nuclei that are produced will be haploid. With meiosis, genetic variation is introduced. This is really significant. So meiosis varies the genetic code and then transmits this new code in gametes. The function of meiosis is the formation of gametes. We we encountered this when we studied human reproduction, the production of the sperm and the egg. And it was also encountered in sexual reproduction in plants, the formation of the female egg cell and the pollen grain with those two nuclei. So we've compared mitosis and meiosis very briefly, and now you have to go on and make sure that you study the whole topic cell division in entirety. So this means that you know what happens in interphase, that you know the four stages of mitosis, diagrams and details. You know what happens in cytokinesis and that you can explain what is meant by cancer. So go back to the main page, Biology Book Bears, and you'll be able to find a playlist on cell division with lots of other detailed videos and the exam questions covered as well. And there is lots of other free stuff out there as well. The very best of luck.